The TrekWorks YouTube channel is sponsored by HDA Modelworks, suppliers of scale lighting products, detail accessory parts, and complete model kits. Visit HDAModelworks.com today. Welcome back everybody, Boyd here with you again. Well today this is an introduction to the next project I'm doing on the uh, YouTube channel here. This is the uh, Polar Lights 112 scale Robbie the Robot kit from Forbidden Planet. This is uh, one of two kits that's available from Polar Lights. Um, the other kit comes with Altera. They call that one the movie poster edition. I prefer this kit just because I just wanted Robbie all by himself. It's got a nice little display base that it sits on here. You can see the uh, the completed model here on the back of the box art. I've also got the uh, paragraphics photo I set for this, which allows you to add a lot of detail up here in the top around his, uh, you know, the mechanisms inside the dome there, the uh, weapons neutralizers and some other cool stuff. Some detail here for his chest plate that looks a little bit more accurate. So I'm really looking forward to this build. Uh, we're just going to show you the uh, basic kit here today. Um, now I'm going to be using some lighting in this. I originally thought about just doing this with one of the uh, big dog sound boards, you know, just to get the voice modulation when he talks. And I was just going to download some of the dialect, but I started looking around online and I saw that Starling has a really nice lighting setup for this called their uh, Life Force Kit. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and order one of them. I think they're on vacation or something right now. They get back. Uh, today is the 20th. I think it said on their website they'll be back on the 23rd or 24th. So I'll go ahead and order one of the lighting kits. They've got two uh, kits available of that. It looks like one's just the standard uh, push button version and they also offer an upgrade remote that uh, you just push a remote control button and the voice, you can do the voice modulation with that. But I'm just gonna go for the standard kit. It looks like everything in that kit fits really nice inside the base too, which is really nice. It'll all be self-contained and uh, we don't need a power supply or anything. It runs on a nine volt battery. So I'll order that and get that in. It'll take me a couple of days of work here anyway to get the uh, model ready for that. I've got to do a lot of work on it looking at the parts. There's a lot of seams that need to be fixed and everything. And we, um, we're going to use the uh, Paragraphics Photo Etch. So that's going to be a little bit more work. But it'll make it really worth it because the extra detail looks really, really nice. So um, I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera here and get you a better angle. And I'll open up the box and we'll pull out the parts and talk about the build. Be right back with that. Okay, we're ready to pop everything out of the box here, so let's take a look at what we get with this kit. Um, up top here you see we got the instruction sheet. I went over this kind of briefly before I uh, uh, started filming here, and it's just really straightforward. You can see you got the, um, up here at the top, we're building the head first with all that detail in there. And uh, as I mentioned, we're going to be using the uh, Paragraphics Photo Etch set, so we got to modify quite a few of these parts. These little uh, details here right on the side. Uh, transducer fins I guess they're called and then these um, weapons neutralizers here there's some really cool little rings you got to put on there using some 1 16th round stock hopefully I'll be able to come up with something that'll work for that uh, hopefully uh, maybe I can do some clear parts there and do some lighting there are some little blue lights here at the front of these um, uh, little details on the side here that just kind of blink as far as I could tell in the movie the little dome up here on top, the main gyro stabilizer it's being called, is lit. Um, the kit part there just has a little chrome piece, I believe, so we have to modify that a little bit and make that work. Might be able to put a tiny little SMD or a uh, little LED on the top of that. Some lighting inside the dome. He's got some lighting on his chest. That'll be coming with the Starling kit. Now you can see down here on the chest plate, you get options because Robbie... Uh, a lot of you guys that are Robbie fans know he appeared in a lot of TV shows and everything after the original movie. And he was modified several times. I believe he appeared on an episode of Lost in Space and some other stuff. But uh, you have the option to do a couple of those different versions. But we'll be doing the standard version that he looked in the movie. Here's the base over here. You're building his legs first and putting them down. So obviously we're going to have to modify. We're going to have to um, drill a couple of holes through the feet and bring wires up through there. 
for the power and everything to the lights up top. So um, shouldn't be too big of a deal. The lighting kit is all plug and play, so you just feed the wiring harnesses through and then plug everything on the top. Um, these are just some advertisements here on the back for um, some of the different kits they have from Polar Lights. Uh, painting guide over here, you know, calls for the different colors. His basic body is a gunmetal gray, weapons and neutralizers, blue tips, kind of uh, standard fare there. Silver details on the inside of the, the dome, silver claws. Optional robotoid chest plate gives you the different colors for that. But yeah, a really straightforward build here. You're building his upper torso, two halves. The clear panel here for the lights. There's some really nice photo etch details for that to make that look a lot nicer. There's his hands there. You got a couple of options for that. His regular hands or some claws. So really a simple straight build, but there's just gonna be a lot of modifying work to do. Gonna have a look at some of these parts. Um, don't wanna pop on out of the bag yet because I don't wanna lose anything, but you can see some of these parts are molded and clear. Some of them are just black. But here's his upper uh, helmet detail here. Some of the details inside of that. Um, part of his arms and everything in this. Here's his hands. Here's the base, which is a nice size. Looking at the pictures of the uh, Starling Light Kit on their website, everything fits inside the base here. Here's his head uh, part here included in the base. And the rest of the screw here in black is the uh, parts of the torso, his legs, and the feet. We have a screw of clear parts here for all the detail up on the dome. Um, here's his uh, really important part right here. This is the uh, the voice modulator clear part that we light in blue. Some uh, plated parts here for detail inside the head. The uh, kind of little radar domes or radar things that I think in the movie they're in they're, they're moving sometimes and sometimes they're not. But um, we're going to try to get most of that detail in here. And we finally finish up here with the uh, Paragraphics Photo Etch set. This is a really nice little set. I didn't get the instructions with this. Um, I don't even know how I got this. I think I, I got it at a as a sample at a model show or something like that. Somebody gave it to me. Um, but I went online and, of course, uh, Paragraphics has all the instructions for their... Uh, their photo etch sets online via PDF, so I just downloaded that and I'm good to go there. Pretty simple. There's a few bends here. This one here is for, I believe, the torso, and this one's for the head. So you can have separate, uh, have the ability to have them swivel, which is, is pretty nice. Probably add that little feature. Um, some details here of the uh, little side panels, these little rings that go on right here on each side. I believe are yeah there there's one on each side and we have uh, some jigs here for building the small little rings that go on the um, weapons repulsors so some really nice detail here the little things that kind of tumble around and it's in a circle around it in his head of course we won't be having that movement but we can get that really nice crisp detail the kit parts are really just kind of plain looking so all of our parts there we need to do all this detail guys really really cool uh, there's some little cam details. You know, we had the moving cams up on the top of his head and everything. Paragraphics is all a re always really good quality, too. I like that their brass is a little bit thicker, and it bends really nice whenever you're working with it. So they've got really good clear scribe lines and all their bend marks. So that's a look at what we're uh, starting with, everybody. The, um, the first video will be back uh, maybe towards this weekend. I got a lot of stuff going on. I'm working on a couple client models. Um... We're going to come back probably middle of the week or towards the end of the week with the first update on this. I'll be probably just doing the basic construction, working on the legs first and the base, uh, and then uh, seeing how much I can do. I might have to hold off on some of the assembly until I get the actual lighting board, but that uh, I'll be able to order that in a couple days like I talked about, and uh, shouldn't take too long for that to get here, and we'll be good to go. This is a really cool little kit. I've had this for a long time. i uh, just finally getting around to build it. I I have the um, large um, C57D kit from Polar Lights too. The, I, I can't remember what size diameter the saucer is, but the thing's gigantic. And I actually started building it a little bit, and um, maybe towards the fall or maybe over the winter, I'll I'll actually get around to doing that. I have some really cool plans for that one. Uh, of course, a lot of lighting and everything, and then um, that model has a lot of interior detail, and uh, we're going to do all that and and uh, maybe do a diorama. We'll we'll see. 
it's got the little id monster it comes with and everything and a few crew members and stuff like that but be a really cool companion for this one i think i built the small uh c57d kit uh, a couple years ago but um uh classic movie just you know it kind of it's kind of the movie that really made sci-fi popular and uh started it all and robbie's just an icon so all right you guys i hope you'll uh tune into the build series um i'm just waiting for the aztec decals to come out for the uh discovery enterprise and we'll be back to finish that one and jerry's still working on the uh custom base for that but don't worry you guys won't miss it you'll see it as soon as we get ready to show it to you when we got it all finished up until next time everybody take care and happy modeling everyone